attention and you're sitting in a chair, would you please stand up again? Okay. We will say the Pledge of Allegiance. The flag is over here to my right. Flags are always to the right of the speaker. Okay, our Pledge of Allegiance is to the And we all know her because she is in our family. And you'll see later when we do the financial report that we gave her a bit of cash, too. Okay, and I see uh, one of our speakers is back there in the back of a minute. Um, are there any other candidates? Oh, Susie's here. Any other candidates? Here. Okay, Susie, why don't you go first? Um, and then we'll um, have yeah. I want to start by saying thank you all very, very much because your generous contribution. Oh, I'm sorry, is it better? Okay, I want to say heartfelt thanks very, very much. Because your generous contributions to my campaign allowed me to afford a mailing, a special mailing, to all the high propensity voters in my area, which I should never have done. And all the people who passed out flyers on back to school night, uh, including those who went to Mission Viejo High School in the extraordinarily horrible world of heat and had to stand around waiting for people to show up with my flyers and they never showed up. But I, I have felt thanks to all of you who did the back to school night. Barbara Casillo, Patty Evil, Judy Fife, Janet Henry, Jack Hollander, Dina Hornsby, Cal and Laura Kleckner, and Owens, Kathy Palmer, Desia, Search, Mignon Trenery, and Jack McCook. So thank you all. You are that you walk all the literature drops because in part of um, Lake Forest and part of Mission Viejo, it included my piece. So I was able to reach every single uh, MPP and them household. And um, also to those of you who will be willing to get up and out the door early this Saturday for the Walk Against Drugs, which I'll tell you quickly about. I do want to give a special thank you to Cindy Ashley because it's her great artwork that I'm displaying here with the t shirt. But all my flyers and postcards that I did, she very graciously designed for me. Um, and also, a special thank you to my friend, Mentor Louise Adler, and Janet Henry 
the boats have been there all these many weeks to kind of hold that bucket when I really needed the bends and started overthinking things and they talked me back from the edge. This campaign is not easy, so for my heartfelt thanks to you too. Um, lastly, because I can feel that I'm starting to play the music and play me on. <laughs> This Saturday at Mission Diego High School. At, oh, it's up there. Well, thank you very much. The Walk Against Drugs. And I'm looking for volunteers who'd be willing to get to the stadium by 7.45 in the morning and help pass out fans to people who will be going into the stadium. The ceremony is from 8 to 8.30. And then after that, they're done unless they want to do the walk against drugs. It's about two miles up here to the North Murray Center from the high school. They walk along La Paz Road in Crisanta all the way here to Veterans Way. And I'm also hoping to find more volunteers who'd be willing to run La Paz starting at 8.15 in the morning. I know it's early to about 9.15 in the morning to just hold the sign and wave to the people as they walk by. I'm willing to bet my opponent will have people out there and I'd like to be out there too. And for the first 17 people who sign up, I've got t-shirts uh, courtesy of Canyon Town. So thank you guys also for the Saturday. So all passes around. And again, I cannot begin to tell you how grateful I am for all your incredible support. Thank you. Yeah, it's that Okay, um, our other candidate. Ah, it's gonna fall. Okay, sorry about that. Um, if you don't have heard the story, I managed to face my in front of Davis and Blue and break my arm, but gave myself a concussion and I ended up in uh, the uh, emergency room. So just kidding. <laughs> Okay, so I ended up in the emergency room with a broken arm because I was a plus. Okay, not to that I have trouble getting anything done. Uh, so we are going to now hear from Mike Levin. Mike is one of the key Democrats in California that we must win this seat to hold the House of Representatives. And he is my very best friend. Uh, <laughs> All right, we're going to have to be sad later. Can we give a round of applause and we can look at I am. I am so grateful to Louise and her entire family. They are truly amazing human beings. And what a turnout. This is incredible. This is like amazing to, to have this many folks here. Uh, I think something big is happening in Orange County. What do you have? So I, I was raised not far from here at all. A few of you know this. I'm from what was then El Toro, what is today Lake Forest. All right. And I'm a graduate of Saddleback Valley Unified School District. I went to La Madera, La Madera Elementary, Toronto Intermediate School. My family then moved to L.A. I went to high school in L.A. They had enough of L.A. Everybody moved back to South Orange County. And my wife and I live in San Juan Capistrano. That's where we bought a home about 10 years ago, 11 years ago. When we moved there, 
One of my friends said, well, you're never going to be able to run for any office in San Juan Capistrano. That's never going to work out. It's far too Republican. And then something amazing happened. Do you remember 2018 when we won every single congressional seat in Lawrence County? And we didn't have everybody from Katie Porter, Carly Bruda, Gil Cisneros. It was incredible. All seven congressional districts were blue. That was an amazing thing. And uh, we did it with the help of people like Louise and so many of the folks in this room. I see my friend Gary Pephart back there. He's a constituent. You can vote for him. So, <laughs> good to see you. So my district today uh, has a lot of your uh, areas. It has uh, all of Rancho Mission Viejo. It has uh, basically everything east of Oso, uh, and, or, or I should say south of Oso, east of Antonio, the Las Flores, that area over there. It has all of San Juan Capistrano, all of Ladera Ranch, uh, and then all the coastal areas. So Dana Point, San Clemente, and then uh, all of North County, San Diego. We won it in that big wave election in 2018. We were running originally against a guy named Daryl Issa. Remember Daryl Issa? <laughs> You've heard of Daryl Issa. And when we won and Peggy won, Harley won, Gil won, it was an extraordinary time. But the Republicans all along believed that we were just renting those seats. They thought that we were on their turf, and they still feel that way today. And they came at me with everything they had in 2020, and we beat them. Then everything they had in 2022, and we beat them again. And now they're coming at me with everything they have in 2024. And with your help, we're going to beat them again. And when when we do, when we do, and when we do great up and down the state of California and all throughout this great county, we're going to do all we can to make our King Jeffries the next speaker of the House of Representatives. And the stakes could not be higher. They literally could not be any higher. I shake my head that half this country is ready to vote for Donald Trump. I shake my head about it. And I know that I'm not able to control everything that happens in Pennsylvania and Michigan and Wisconsin and Arizona and Nevada and North Carolina and Georgia. Now, if you have any friends or relatives in any of those seven states, please contact them over the next couple of weeks for me because we need all the help we can get. But I know what I can control. I can control what we all do over the next three weeks. And I believe that Nancy Pelosi, who, by the way, is the greatest speaker in the history of the House of Representatives, I believe that she has it right. And she says what you have to do before an election are three things. Number one, no waste of time. The fact that we're all here gathered, a huge group of people here in South Orange County, tells me we are ready for these next two and a half weeks to not waste any time. We're going to use every single day that we have between now and the election. We're not just going to watch MSNBC and complain at the television set, right? Right. We're going to go out there, we're going to knock on doors, we're going to make calls, we're going to do all we can to help these candidates up and down the ticket. Whether you help our race, or you help Derek Tran, or you help Dave Min, or you help Joe Kerr, or you help anybody running for any of the different city council, school board, water board, the key here is to do what Michelle Obama said at the convention. You remember what she said? Do something. Do something. Do something. Number two is no underutilized resources. Every single person here is a resource. You have a network, you have a Rolodex on your phone, your friends, your family, your coworkers, your colleagues. Every single person here knows at least one person who isn't going to vote in this election. If you think hard enough, you will pick it out one person. And I hope you contact them in the next two and a half weeks and you encourage them. You tell them that it's the most important election and they've got to exercise their voice in the democratic process. I'm not worried about the Republicans beating us. I'm worried about apathy beating us because we're right on the issues. People share our values, but we've got to get them to the polls. That's what we've got to do. And then number three, most important of all, we've all got to collectively wake up the morning after the election, win, lose, or draw. We probably won't know whether we've won or lost in many of these races, but we will know in our heart and our gut that we gave it our all, that we have no regrets, that there were no more doors that we could have knocked on, no more calls we could have made, 
no more postcards or texts we could have sent, and that we have that satisfaction knowing that we gave it our all. Can we do that? So our race, our district in South Orange County, we are being outspent by a Trump Republican self-funder who says he's pro-choice but actually is not, who says he wants to protect Social Security but it couldn't be further from the truth. He is a Trump MAGA Republican all the way, and so is Michelle Steele, so is Young Kim. We've got to do everything we can to get these people out of office and to get people in office who share our values. But we're going to need your help to do it. We're going to need your help to do it. So I will just conclude by saying this. Everybody here can do something more. Everybody here, I encourage you, get out of your comfort zone. And again, it's very uh, tempting to just go home and yell at the television. Right? There's a whole lot going on. If you see Donald Trump on the television, you probably want to yell a little bit louder. But I'm just encouraging you, take that excitement, that enthusiasm, that you have that spirit, that you have that motivated you to be here tonight and do something. And when we do, we're going to take Orange County, we're going to make it blue, and it's going to stay blue for a very long time to come. Because this county shares our values. This county has a blue wave coming in about three weeks. What do you think? I'm going to put the microphone back in the least because I don't want to get in trouble. As a club, we need somebody to come and do a training for all of our tech people on PPI. Berkowitz showed up. And he spent hours with us, even though, you know, he knows so much more than we do. And then he was available to answer phone calls. So, Adam, you are our hero. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so you want to be a little gentle. On your table, you all have an agenda like this, okay? Um, the way we do it in this club, sorry for those of you who think it's too short, but the way we do it is we put all the things that need to be voted on in one vote. And you see all the little things with the check marks on there? We're going to vote on all of those at one time, okay? So one of the things that's on there is our treasurer's report. Ken, raise your hand. State Ken does all of our reporting. She's her both federal and state tax, so it's very, very important. Okay? Um, and there's also a recommendation from the board to do additional donations. So let me show you the donations we've already done. These ones were earlier in the summer. Okay, and all of that money came from you. That's the only place we get the money from your membership, from the hot dogs that you buy, from the buttons you buy, from the change you throw in. That's all we do. Okay. This is the most recent money we have given out because we believe that we have to save the House of Representatives. And you see. White side on there, you see Rollins on there, okay? Um, and Derek Tran, because we're, those are outside our area, but we've already given Mike and uh, Dave Min all we could give them, okay? Mm -hmm. So, what we're proposing to do, there's a rule in the club bylaws <clears throat> that if we're going to spend over a thousand dollars, it takes the vote of the membership. So you see all those 900s up there? That's because we felt we needed to give the money to the candidates as soon as we could, but we have not maxed out. 
and max out means we've given the maximum amount that we're allowed to under federal law. So now we're proposing to max out Rollins, White, and Whiteside. Um, and I thought there was another one. Fran. 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 Thank you. I didn't read it carefully enough. Okay. So if you vote tonight, then we would give them each the additional four hundred dollars, and that would not max out to them. Okay. And then whoever works on redrawing the, the bylaws next year can see if they want to change that word, which is <laughs> it's a little odd. Okay, so um, is there anyone who wants to pull an item from the consent vote and have it further discussed? <coughs> Thank you. Uh, I need a motion to adopt the agenda. So uh, moved. I saw two hands. Stacy. Stacy and Ted. So we've got a first and a second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. We got it all done. <laughs> okay. So I'm very proud of our club because we really focus this money on those congressional races because God uh, forbid that may be the only brick wall we have in this Trump. Okay, so we did our business. Okay, so we have committee reports. Uh, Anne, you want to come up and talk about membership? So as you can see, we have an all-time, this is our all-time high for this club of 524, and we got two more people. <laughs> So thank you for that because all this money, if you don't consider a membership, consider a donation for all these candidates that we're talking about because that's really what all that money goes to. So thank you so much. You can start renewing also for next year. This renewal will be carried over into 2025. So if you want to go online now uh, and renew your membership, that membership will be carried over for next year. Okay, any questions on that? Is it the same price? Yes. Okay. It's hard to know. <laughs> we have a raise to do. So, um, yeah, thirty dollars for an individual and fifty dollars for a family. Um, and for those of you who are new, we have a community outreach group that reaches out to nonprofits, basically in the area, that um, are representative of what the Democrat. Democratic values are this month we're giving um families uh well this is how they work okay. uh this month we're giving uh Thanksgiving food to uh our Chinese South Outreach. Next month we are doing I think I started this I don't know 25 years ago. We're doing an adopt a child program for Christmas for families forward on your table. Take 10 seconds and find a green piece of paper. Thank you. Um, so if you would be interested in signing up for buying um, a gift, they're very realistic at Families Forward. They don't want you going out and buying a $150 gift for this child. They would rather you get something more reasonable, like maybe in the $30 range. And then also, uh, they like gift cards because they like to give these gift cards to the parents, and the parents use them to shop for their children, which gives that family a feeling of self respect. And then they also don't want you um, wrapping it because we also give them gift paper so the families can wrap their own gifts. So I, that's why I love this program. I think it really keeps that uh, feeling of respect and. Um, at the family who's have, have part of this. So if you would be interested in helping at all, just sign your name, uh, cell, email, uh, if you'd rather do a gift card, I know it's easier to do a gift card, but it's kind of fun to shop too for the ones. I will not have these names until into November. They're usually due the first week of December, which is why I'm advertising it now versus at our next meeting, because it's a really tight timeline. So um, I will just make a list of all these people. I will get a list of all the families and all the kids and their ages and desires. And then I will start emailing you and saying, this is somebody um, that you could get a gift for. And you can you know, first come, first serve on um, who you would like to help. You can help one child, you can help a family, whatever your choice is. 
So uh, yeah, you can just take these, leave them on the table, and we'll pick them up at the end of the meeting. Okay, thank you very much. Is we have these focus groups, and um, they represent each of the communities in our group. Is Rachel Humphrey still here? Okay, okay well, I was going to introduce her because uh, she and a couple of the people are talking about forming a focus group for young people, which I think is a great idea. Anywhere? Yeah, where? Yeah. 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 Not where, young Democrats. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hey, do you want to say something? Yes, we do. The focus group. Good evening. I want to thank everyone in the focus group for doing the drops, all of the focus groups, by the way, and anyone else who's done the drops. I just want to tell you we have our very last bag of lift drops right here. There are four packets of tiny beach. I don't want to say it. So, do you have to be in the mic? I have six. I had six packets. You'll take one. Good. Anybody else want a packet? There's each packet has 20 drops. You don't have to knock on a door. Thank you. Come see me. I'm sitting right over there. That's three. Do I have one more? Four. Yeah. Thank you. Right over there. That table. Very great. Sure I'm sitting next to her. Please come see me and I'll give you some good drops. I'm going to now yield a few moments of my time to answer. No, 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 so we want to spend some time talking about <clears throat> what we do now to move forward. Okay. So this is an example of the mailing that went out to all of the um, uh, people who are living in apartment houses and are living in gated communities. So it's an example of the voter guide that is also on the table of the colorful voter guide. So these are things that we put in the packets to make sure people know who to vote for. Okay, so I want to recognize some people here. Okay, I think we have actually heroes in this room. So I'm going to read off these categories. And when I read off the category, if you fit I want you to stand up and take our applause. So everybody who wrote postcards, please stand up. And then all the people who send all the lift packs, all the state wings with the rubber bands. <laughs> we were helped to recruit people to uh, walk precinct, stand up. Further on the mail and getting the, the the labels on the and the stamps on. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? <laughs> How will you deliver those packets to front the world? <laughs> Come on, let's take out. So, if there's three of we have to figure out, please let me know. When you're coming. Okay, so I'm going to talk about what's coming up. Uh, we still have people out there who haven't voted. How many of you have already mailed in the ballot? Yay! Okay. But not everybody's like that. So we still have neighbors, we still have friends, we still have acquaintances, the lady who does our nails, 
the folks at the cleaners, we should be talking to them about voting and making sure that they vote, okay? So here's this information that we went over the last time. Um, the most important thing is to get people to understand that they should be using the voter drop boxes, not putting it in the U.S. mail. If you stick it in a post box somewhere and it gets stuck at the bottom and it doesn't get you to register our voters for on time, it won't count. And I have seen trade with ballots that are being shredded and thrown away. If you put them in a drop box, it will get to the register of the voters. So that's the best way to do it. Now, if you have somebody who mismarked your ballot or decides that they need to re-register because they don't live where they thought they lived before, they can go to a vote center. And vote at the vote center. You can get a new ballot, you can turn in a ballot, whatever problem you have, they will take care of it. This county bends over backwards to make it easy to vote. So please send that message to be there. Okay, the most important thing is that a ballot that's going to be mailed in the U.S. mail must be postmarked by November 3rd, and it must arrive um i believe within five days so it's that's the problem with mail in ballots in the u.s mail okay the other good thing is if you want to know what's happening with your ballot you can sign up for <clears throat> where's my ballot sos the secretary of state dot ca dot gov and they will tell you what happened to your ballot when was it received at the registrar when was it counted et cetera et cetera and guess what? If there's a problem with that ballot, the registrar of ballot and voters will get in touch with you to cure your ballot. So it's really important to have this information that you can share with friends and neighbors. Okay, so as Mike said, we're digging around for those one, two people that we all know um, who said, I don't want to vote. I, I can't make up my mind. I'm trying to be young and young and young. You know, all the excuses. The couch. You know, Barack Obama talked about the couch. We could lose because of the couch. We can stay on the couch. <laughs> so I want to encourage you to have neighborly conversations with people at first. Please do not yell at the Trumpers. <laughs> it won't do any good. <laughs> it's your blood pressure, and it won't take this step to vote. But for the people that are truly undecided, if you are kind to them, if you're neighborly, if you're friendly, if you smile, you may get them to vote, and you may get them to vote for our candidates. So try it. It can't hurt. Go look, go dig around for that one or two or three people that you can change your vote. Think of how many people we have here. We have, what, 200 or so? Multiply that by three people. You talk about a lot of people and a lot of votes. So you can do it. Okay, um, so the goal is to be friendly. Um, make sure that they understand that they can vote now. They don't have to wait until November 7th. I think it is one of those. I'm like Trump, I'm getting the dates wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and if you have a question, you can talk to the folks on the screen who've been doing this for a while and they can give you a system, okay? So if not now, when? So here's some things you can do. Uh, give your time to a candidate. Uh, use your voice to speak up, talk to people. Uh, donate to a candidate. They still need money. Trust me, they need it. Um, you can put a yard sign up. You can put a bumper strip on your car. I know everybody does. I want to do that to the market pantry and the and the key market. You can see my car, folks. I got all that stuff on my car. I've never had a problem. So it's possible to put a bumper strip on and survive. I know. And you can work for a candidate. So we have a system in the Democratic Party called Mobilize that you can use to volunteer for any candidate you want to volunteer for. And Cindy, our great uh, communications director, 
gave me this wonderful slide. You can just go to our website and go to the mobilize them and pull it up and you get all kinds of choices of what to do, okay? So I'm trying to make it so easy for you to take action that there's no excuses for just you sitting on the couch. Now, would you all pick up your agenda and turn it over? <laughs> Oh. So, the this agenda looks like this. Turn it over. There's a picture of Camilla. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I have once you set it on, the speed's in. Most of the time, it is. Okay, so there's really three levels here. First, you may help a local candidate like Susan, or like my friend, or David, or Joe Kerr. Just call the number, or go to the website. They've got plenty of things you can do. Like Andy, my friend Andy, just went by to dress up on the Dave Mintz campaign and ended up standing there for a couple hours. Story literature. Okay. So they need hands. They need people to do things. Okay. Then the Harris campaign is having what they call the California Surge, which is asking people to volunteer to go to Nevada or New Mexico. Okay. Um, you get on the bus, they arrange everything, they provide some of the meals, most of the meals for you. I've done it. It's a lot of money. Okay, and you go walk precincts in that other state because hey, we're gonna win in California, but we gotta win in Nevada. Okay, we gotta win in Arizona. So this is something that you and some friends can have an adventure, go to it. I do I still know which precincts in Las Vegas I walked. Okay. I know those precincts. Okay. So you can just call up, there's a phone number. Or there's a website. And then Cindy, bless her heart, found even more ways to connect, which are at the bottom. And I cut it off here because it looked too small on the whole page. So here's if you were saying to yourself, well, the election's only a couple of weeks away, it's too late for me to do anything. <laughs> not true. Not true. You can do something really important in the next two weeks. Okay. So this is. This is really our, where our commitment really pays off is in this final push. We've done just about everything we could do to reach voters here, uh, but the candidates need help now. Okay? And we can help the national campaign by taking ourselves to another state. Okay? So I hope. When I leave this room tonight, I will not see any of these on the table. Take it with you. Torture yourself with it. Put it on the way. Torture Okay. I am endlessly impressed with what this club has done. So it bothered me a little bit to stand up here and ask you to do more. Okay. But this is so consequential that you have to do it. Okay, so I guess it's a situation where for those who do much, much of mass. Thank you. Now, our fundraising agenda. Hello, friends and family and friends. We're going to be changing it up at our lunch this year. We're not there yet. Okay. Next, we have our first year of I'm very flexible. I'm a Democrat. <laughs> okay. This is our sustaining donor program, and it's for people who can afford to give us a little extra besides their regular membership. So if you've got an extra five dollars a month, or ten, or hundred, or whatever you spare, um, you can sign up on our website to become a sustaining donor. 
But now that are 85 sustaining donors who have given us a total of 13,000. And that's why we're here. Okay. We've got a pop up coming up. And it's always in the same spot. It's a mission here at Santa Margarita Pathway in between Los Angeles and Margarita at McDonald's is. We're somewhere around there, depending on where the mega people are, we set up you know, somewhere where they're not as close. Um, last time, there were actually two Trump booths, which was really interesting. <laughs> one at the one end of the street and the other one across the street. And we had like 80 people, you know, showing our signs and people honking, and they were just sitting there all by themselves. <laughs> So next step is coming Saturday and the following Saturday. We're going to do our pop-ups. It's a party. Even if we don't have any merch left, and that would be great, but we still have some, so oh, it's up. But we have merch and we have snacks and we have a good time. We gave our signs and it's amazing how many people Oh, we give us the thumbs up, and we had people come to the booth and cry and say, We have no idea what the thing said and stuff. So here we are. So we've been here very nicely. Thank you very much. And we'd love to have you come out and join us. That's right. It's right after Susie the event. So come right from Susie the event over to Papa. There you go. Next month, we're going to do our Change for Change program. So start collecting your pennies, nickels, dimes, and quarters. We just bring it, we'll have a big jar, we'll throw it in there, and then we take it to one of those places where they count it all up, and we put it in our in our treasury. An easy way to raise a little extra money. Now the brunch. This is our annual Richard O'Neill brunch. And um, we're doing things a little different this year, because we're going to have a new woman president. So we have to make things different, right? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. So we're asking for donations of things. We need wine for our wine code. And so we, we have a big table with wine. All the wine is worth at least $20, please, because we charge you $20. And then sometimes you get a $40, $50 bottle of wine. Sometimes it's like $20, but it's always good. Um, we need items for our silent auction. Specifically, we need gift cards and gift certificates if you have those or if you're willing to get one for us. And then um, we've got sponsorship opportunities, and you'll see on your table this little, uh, I think it's called the clock, this color. And that's got some ideas about the sponsorship opportunities. We're trying to help offset some of the extra costs that we have that aren't covered by the ticket price. So if we can get some sponsorships, then that increases our profits because it decreases our cost. So that's how that works. And I think I'm done. What? The sponsorships are up online right now. Oh, okay. Yes, the sponsorships are online. So if you go to our website, you can sign up at the representative, senator, vice presidential or presidential level. And you can see on the flyer here what each one of those donations get. Tickets will be up soon. Uh, we're trying to do one holiday, one thing at a time, but they'll be up soon. Oh, and the deadline for the donations, you can bring them to next month's meeting. Um, but we're trying to get everything together by November 15th because we've got to put it all together in baskets. And the brunch is early this year, it's December 7th. So that's the first Saturday. And um, that's really close to Thanksgiving. So we're going to um, do a blitz and put everything together. So wine, gift certificates, pool, auction items, whatever you've got, you can contact um, any of us. You can contact us on the website. We can either arrange for you to drop stuff off or meet you somewhere to pick it up or whatever. Or you can just bring it to next month's meeting. And we will be happy to take it off your hands. Why not? <laughs> My Laura's number's on there. And she's got a tub up, a club truck, club of one for yard. So you could just drop it off and let her know where the stand and she'll bring you in house. Okay. So how 
Um, I think um, you're going to introduce our speaker, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. All right. Let's do it.